here we are guys with day 8 dictionaries and maps and this is the 8th episode of 30 days of code using python so in today's challenge is we are going to get an integer that represents how many names and numbers we will get all right then we will get an infinite or an unknown amount of names that we should look up in our dictionary that we got earlier and if, if we found it we're gonna just print the name and its phone number that we have in the dictionary if we don't find it we will print not found all right seems simple let's go so we add the following n equals three key value pairs so it's a dictionary basically you have the name and the value so sam its value is its phone number then tom and its value is phone number and so on we then process each query and print key value of if the query key is found so then throughout the names we will get sam we will look up sam in our phone book Okay, all right sam has this phone number we're gonna print sam equals this phone number we're gonna look up edward do we have edward no we're gonna print not found we then gonna look up harry do we have harry over here yep we're gonna print it with its phone number awesome so first make sure you have python over here change the theme to whatever you want and let's jump right in let me reset all right so first we want to get how many lines do we have so or how many names are we getting so our first input input would be or the input that we'll get from the challenge would be the this number this integer three or five or whatever it is so based on this number we want to create a dictionary called names then through for i in the range of n which is the amount of names we get we are going to create n names dictionary mm -hmm. let me think about it all right oh, yeah we, we need to get the input here so name would equal input all right all right no it would be name and phone number let me just mm, input data would be if we print input data over here let me show you it would be the three lines we'll get all right so as you can see here our output is sam the phone number tom the phone number harry the phone number and there is a space between the name and the phone number so what we will do is assign name and phone number to be input to split by the space or you can just type split and then if we here print the name then print the phone number hope this makes sense let's run the code now we should get the, like the name then the phone number and this other line then the name then the phone number and so on mm, why is it take all right there we are so we've got sam then it's phone number tom then it's phone number harry then it's phone number perfect so now and the names we can we can all right let's rename this to be phone book all right so phone book then here in the form book dictionary we can create just like this use uh, block brackets and pass the name and assign its value to be phone number so now if you, you outside of the for loop if we would print the phone book what we should get is something similar to this dictionary here we are so we have sam and its value is the phone number tom and its phone number harry and its phone number so we've got our phone book ready now what we want to do is loop through the rest of the lines that the challenge is giving us it's because we are not only this integer represents how many phone how many phone numbers are we getting but then we have to query the rest of the names that we don't know how many of them 
which is written over here yep after the end lines of phone box entries there are an unknown number of lines of, qu of queries so we want to check that how we are going to do that is basically create a while loop we're gonna make it always true because we want to keep going then we will gonna query equals the input right now we will check if query if query is a thing because in python as you know if it's an empty string then it's false if it's not empty then it's true so we are checking if it's empty or not you know we can we can we can we can, we can delete this what we can do is hmm, let me think about it we can go like form books form book dot get all right and query the query which is the name else just make it false all right then we'll print all right hmm. Let's print. It wants us to print this. It wants us to print the string like this. So we're gonna do format. So we have here the first thing would be the query, which is the name. The second thing would be the number, which we will get from the Mm -hmm. let's, let, let's take this to be in a separate line we're gonna call it phone number all right so now what we can check is if phone number if it's a thing it will pass else I'm gonna throw it out the window uh no throw it but <laughs> just give me a second a phone a phone phone notebook a phone number is a thing is it true because if it didn't find the query it will be false if it's true then we want to print this which would be name which is the query and the phone number perfect else we can just print not found uh, they're not found where is it all right nice so with all of this if we run this just let me show you what's going to happen all right we get end of line error right perfect and our output is exactly what we want the only thing we want to fix is we want to close the while uh, the while loop if there is no more lines how are we going to do that is by expecting or by expecting yes or catching the error of error so what we will do over here is gonna try add a try try accept uh, statement and we're gonna accept eo if error just make sure that the indentation is correct and if we got this error we're gonna just break out of that while loop perfect now if we run the code we should get a success why is that hmm. expected output you got Harry like what's wrong wrong answer why is that like here's the expected output here is the not found all right it's, it needs to be capital you see my uh, sorry it needs to be uh, not capital mine is capital so we're gonna change this here we are guys perfect so now yeah let's submit the code just make sure Perfect. Yep, that's it, guys, for this episode, and see you in the next one. Peace out.